How's it? This is Huala Grevy. I'm here again with Jonathan Bush. We're at Hims 18 in Las Vegas. I last saw Jonathan during JPM week in January in San Francisco. And I got one question for you, Jonathan. All What's right. your biggest takeaway for Hims 18? I just got here. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you, my biggest takeaway is no different than last year. You can say the same thing for 10 years and still be considered a genius in healthcare. Did <laughs> I get that right? And here, <laughs> here's data right? point number one. <laughs> My biggest takeaway is actually going down to the interoperability showcase and seeing how much they're promoting system integration and inter interoperability across applications. Um, it looks like now everything from having a data center infrastructure that's HIPAA secured and ensuring that within that data center infrastructure there's tools that de developers can leverage to integrate with EHR systems. Uh, more easily consume laboratory and share laboratory information, even down to like consent, like um, having behavioral health be a very huge topic and them tackling them, how do I drive consent driven transactions, compliance with behavioral health. It's been pretty amazing. So that's, that's my biggest takeaway, um, that true interoperability is finally being addressed the way it needs to be. There seems to be a lot of hype about uh, AI and blockchain. Uh, the, the takeaway on blockchain is it is not ready for prime time, at least in healthcare. It is far, far, far from ready. Uh, the AI stuff was extremely interesting and I think it's going to create some efficiencies, especially uh, in specialty care, uh, radiology, dermatology, um, anything in a visual aspect where you can, uh, retinopathy, where you can basically look at the images and have it learn which is a, a bad image versus a good image. We have a lot of exciting things, right? The, the show floor is exciting. For, for me personally, the most exciting thing is that uh, you know there's, there's so many more startups here than there ever were. So this is no longer just the playground for the big enterprise software people. So that is amazing. And also the, the number of health systems that are here wanting to work with startups and wanting to work with them by any and all means possible, so not just sort of driving pilots. I think they recognize that you know the pilot model is just you know not working really great unless there's a strong discipline to it. But also embracing app stores, yeah. uh, you know, like our marketplace. Right. You guys are on the marketplace. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, embracing those models to really you know also I think recognizing that they cut down the RFP times, they cut down the upfront integration costs, and and the, and for the startups too. I mean, I you know you you get. Uh, saved on so much of upfront energy that you have to put uh, working through the number of channels that you will if, if you're going directly to a, to a health system. So I think these type of new models, not just ours, you know, maybe even all scripts and Epic and Cerner, everybody has a model now and, and the willingness to recognize that and work through that, I think that to me is just very exciting. That's great.